Good morning, happy Saturday. So I have a beauty here from Quest Orchids and this is their information. I went to visit during Thanksgiving break and I thought she was really gorgeous and I had in mind when she finishes blooming, which she has, um, I would put her in this basket. So I went and bought this basket from Home Depot and like always i'm gonna line it with some sort of maybe this thing from my tree over there and i'm actually a little apprehensive this is like the biggest one that i have taken out by myself but i see new growths and i'm a little hasty and i want to get her into this beautiful basket so I am going to give it a try and I will show you step by step how it goes. So this is what I was afraid of. This is what the pot looked like. These are what the roots look like. And this is almost, um, I don't know what this is. It's cut. It, I have not seen this kind of situation before. It's almost like charcoal, but it's completely disintegrated. And there's some big fat roots and some little roots. So I'm gonna give her a good wash. But wow, look at this. I think it was time for her to come out. Okay guys, so here you have it. I gave her a little bit of a watering down. I hope this is okay. If not, Oh, this leaf is not okay. It's hanging by a string. Oh boy. Okay. Sad, but maybe it was an old leaf. So I hope this plant is okay. I gave her a little watering. I am kind of concerned with what this looks like. I'm not sure, but for the experts out there, please let me know what you think about that. And um, so that's it. I am going to transplant her into here. I didn't disturb this situation too much at all. I wasn't gonna start picking out roots now, but I'm gonna attempt to just put her here in this basket. Hopefully that'll work. Um, I don't know, when I get the big catlias, I get kind of nervous if I'm doing it right, if she looks okay. But anyway, this is her tag. I think I already showed. Patanera Alexa Cuesta which is a cross between Carolina Splendor and George Jewel, and then cross with BLC Arabesque Golden Zebra Arabesque. I know what that is because I used to do ballet when I was a, a young person. <laughs> so anyways, here goes nothing. I am going to put her in there and kind of surround her with my normal mix, which is just a very, very, very little bit of the spag moss and all these supplies come from the orchid supply store then i have the orchiata and then i have some leca so i'm going to mix those three things very little i don't think i'm going to put any spag i really don't because she's going to be up here hanging in the orchid pergola with the other family members the orchid family members and if it rains then i'll be having a conniption inside until we cover up so i will show you what she looks like but for now i don't know this color is kind of freaking me out this situation here is freaking me out every time i get a big one and i start to try to handle it i feel like i'm not equipped with the knowledge i could tell this is the new part back here so but the basket is not big enough for me moving her anywhere she's gonna be pretty much in the middle let me see if i can Put her in with one hand something like this try to scoot her a little bit more towards this way so that she has room to grow out that way and just kind of fill in the blanks oh no i'm not at work fill in the spots <laughs> fill in the spots with my mix my bark and yes yeah, she was apparently in just charcoal for some reason i guess so she'll stay with her charcoal and then I'll fill in around 
and I'll show you what she looks like. I have a hanger ready to go. That one is from Home Depot. And then, um, yeah, hopefully she'll do well. I was kind of worried. Um, I thought she would look better. I didn't notice these little things, but um, yeah, okay. All right, there you have it. I think she looks good. I think she looks really good. Of course, everybody, when they're washed up in a new outfit, they look good. So that's what we have going on now. We have a little sprucing up. I think the leaves look good. Um, I'm gonna attach the hanger. I'm gonna hang her up. I just fertilize her because it just happens to be fertilizing day. And I've had her for about two weeks. And that's it. So again, I got my supplies from the Orchid Supply Store. You can go visit them at www.orchidsupplystore.com and you can get 12% off with my discount code. And um, the owner there is Ken, really nice. He can help you even choose live orchids. And um, you can get potting supplies, you can get pots, you can get mounts. Most of all of my mounts are from from there so um and the plants are doing well the ones that are on them so he has baskets too so let me know what you think i'm going a little basket and mounting uh crazy lately but i really love the look and i think they enjoy it better than the pots even though the ones that i have in pots seem to be doing okay as well but um yeah first i got clay pot happy and now i'm mounting and basket happy look at how cute this looks a variation in the color in this basket i think it is gorgeous tell me what you think and if you have any ideas if that looks bad let me know so i can spray it i'm gonna spray it anyway but uh so i can wash it spray it or if you have any ideas all the experts that are out there um let me know thanks bye hi guys so this is a first for me and I don't know if I like it. I don't know what I'm doing. This is my sick orchid. It was a Cadlia that I bought in my first um, show when I went to the Fairchild Orchid Festival. Orchids in Bloom, was it called? Or something like that. And it wasn't doing well after a while. When I bought it, it didn't look that great. But of course, I was extra new i'm a newbie now but i was extra new then and um yes that did look like a shadow but not anymore i think it's completely dry the um pseudobulbs look wrinkly even though i tried to water them i had to cut this leaf because it was getting all sort of weird markings and i kept her separated but yeah that's what she looks like and it wasn't a sunburn so I think she has something. There's something happening here. So what I did was I kept her in a pot, I kept her separated, and I kept on feeding and taking care. Look at how this bulb came out, all deformed. So anyways, guys, so this is a first. I put this cat layer on the palm. This is the kind of life she's gonna get. And I know that I, I follow Blanca from Blanca's work garden and she would do this and have beautiful blooms and so but I was never daring enough to put my cat layers on there for some reason because I didn't know about the light and I still am not quite sure but this is gonna be my tester I know she's sick I know she's not doing well but let me see if she survives I got some moss and I'm gonna attach look at how the roots look I mean it's not looking promising and if she's lost, then, I mean, I guess I can say I tried my best. But she's not that small of a plant, and she's still hanging in there. But I took her out of her pot because she looked like she wasn't getting any better. And the leaves were starting to lose their, you know. And of course, I'm going to wash my hands after touching her because I don't know if she's going to virus or I don't know what. But this was promising to me. So I took a knee-high, Blanca style. I took a knee high. I put some fresh moss from the orchid supply store, the New Zealand bag moss. And I'm going to cross my fingers that she's okay under this palm. The weather's cooling down. 
when I had the moss and um, give you updates. And hopefully, if you guys have any tips, I mean, I didn't want to throw her out. But yeah, she is looking horrible. I've already sprayed her with everything. I've given her the fungicide, I've done insecticide, um, and of course I feed her. So, I mean, she's, she's okay. I might give her another tie in the top, add the moss, and uh, hope for the best. Hi guys, so I wanted to just show you the look of adding a couple of things to the orchid pergola, how it looks at night. So sneak peek at a bloomer and another bloomer, but that's for another video. That's for another video. And look, my, my philodendron is looking pretty good, but take a look at this little change and yes sun is setting we added a little bit and it's dark now but i bought some lights the same lights that we already have are going to be extended all around the orchid pergola and i'm so excited it's getting dark but we added this lattice and it looks like a proper orchid shade house i am so happy with it i know it's dark look at that beautiful it's so peaceful out here i never want to go inside except for the bugs the bugs are really annoying but yes this is just a little tiny in the dark tour of that little special edition just a little piece of lattice and just seeing how it looks. I think we're gonna wrap it all the way around. And then I might hang this grid here so that I can continue hanging these um, mounted orchids. So exciting, I love it. I love how it looks. I'm in the process of reorganizing it I don't know if you remember seeing an ugly white curtain. That's what I had because this section of fowls and stuff is um, the darker section, I guess. So I love it. It looks so nice. I don't think I ever want to go inside. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think? So I'm going to reorganize. I have all my cats here and I have all the Vandas there more cats here and this is kind of like my ugly workstation but I cleaned it up and at first I thought of just adding a lot of pothos or pothos however you say it to um, provide the uh, the proper shade so it doesn't get so much sun but yeah I would have to add so many more and although I like it I think that the lattice would do the job even better so yeah, that's my little project for today. Oh, there's that gecko again. And the other problem was the amount of leaves that come in from that tree. The gecko tree. Oh boy. Where is it? Huh. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I think it looks really nice. I hope all of you have a nice evening and enjoy your orchid grow space. I'm really enjoying mine and hopefully I'm going to finish this project tomorrow with lights and more lattice. See you guys later.